my name is Trevor Ramiri. I'm a second year student in the Landscape Horticulture Program here at St. Clair, as well as a graduate of the Culinary Management Program. And I'm president of Anactus St. Clair College, which is a student-run club here that's a collaboration of multiple programs here at St. Clair that looks at opportunities and problems in our communities and tries to generate solutions to support others, either at a small scale directly on campus or largely around our neighborhoods and potentially around the country. So this year, we have a fantastic industry uh, partnership with Temi Canada. So Temi is a personal support robot that we are looking to utilize as a vehicle for different supports that we can offer students here on campus. For example, with our Endure project, we won second place across Canada in financial literacy for last year. We're now really trying to lean into the technological support that we can offer students and create relationships around it. So last year, about this time, uh, we started with discussions with uh, Temi Canada, uh, looking at accessibility for students in the classroom. Um, they had discussed with us various platforms that you're currently using in industry, such as working with uh, nursing homes um, and individuals who are elderly and trying to integrate that technology uh, into the workplace and into the home. Um, so I thought this would be a great platform for our students to learn with, interact with, um, and build self-confidence within the classroom and have them uh, truly understand what it's like to work with technology and feel that there's no barriers to uh, technology and education. Um, one of the greatest things about Temi is as an industry platform, uh, you're able to always adapt and change with new updates on the Temi platform. Uh, new apps are always being added so students can access the web, students can use video calls, uh, students can um, do peer-to-peer -peer, uh, networks. Uh, so there's all sorts of platforms that Temi can utilize uh, inside the classroom. Uh, one great thing that students can utilize uh, in terms of accessibility is they can be remote working um, so we're looking at that as a platform for students, even if they miss a class, Temi can access uh, Temi at any time uh, and they can utilize it in the classroom uh, and as well as being at home. So they always feel that they have that point of contact. Um, with our platform, we truly believe that this is going to allow for students to interact with other students inside the classroom. They can work on um, projects together, they can do voice calls, um, they can present virtually. Uh, so it does eliminate some of the barriers that we do see in the classroom. The CICE program stands for the Community Integration Through Cooperative Education Program, so commonly known as the CICE program. It is designed to allow students that have um, developmental disabilities or other intellectual disabilities be able to have access to post-secondary education. And so through our curriculum, the students are taking core CICE courses but they also integrate with other programs across the college based on their interests. Where the Endure project came in is it started out as a creative solution during the pandemic for field placements. We did not want our students out, out on field placement with the pandemic. And so the Endure project uh, was started as a way to be able to have our students really connect with other post-secondary students and engage in a project together. With Temis, I'm able to have a voice call or be able to navigate campus remotely. I can also be able to have quizzes or transcribe items because many students on campus need to utilize these resources to have a truly fulfilled uh, educational experience. Not only that, it's also a source of collaboration because we have students from the Mobile App Development Program, networking, robotics, graphic design, that are all working together to examine these elements and see what we can create together to make these a reality. So for example, we had a greeter for our Mobile Application Development Program this week that we were able to have Temi greet the students and lead them directly to their interview, as opposed to having a human, yes, you know, stationary there to greet them as well. Also, we are trying to examine, you know, can we create um, mental health application, that student who might be going through you know, you know, emotional duress, especially during midterms, uh, that we might be able to you know, go through on a TEMI with the resources we've gathered from the Mental Health Commission of Canada, be able to assess, you know, when's, you know, have you been losing a lot of weight lately? When's the you know, last time you've taken a shower? Um, things like that where someone might be uncomfortable to share that sort of information directly with a person. We can have Temi go through that information and not only that, if Temi understands based on that assessment that this person is in a truly uh, emotional, emotional emergency, they'd be able to send a notification directly to student services in our counseling department to be able to say, look, at this time in this location, I interacted with someone that I truly feel is in a critical mental health state and that there is somebody needed that sort of support. 
Um, we also want to see, you know, can we create a COVID screener? You know, we've already experimented with a, a greeting application. Can we use Temi as a COVID screener instead, especially as the vaccine passports are moving to a more QR-based uh, uh, QR application system? Temi already has the technology to be able to scan QR codes, so that'd be a seamless seamless application, I believe, for sort of trying to embrace what the new normal is. We're all sharing this collective uh, collective pause to be able to define what we do as we move forward and trying to reintegrate into uh, community with COVID-19 uh, policy in mind. So as far as where this project has now led, um, we were really excited that um, the Enactus uh, group and then the project called Endure came in second nationally last year. And where our CIC students really helped with this was being able to give feedback as far as students that had disabilities and being able to um, teach them financial literacy and being able to gain and grow their independent skills. And so these financial literacy modules that were put together by the Endure students had our students be able to give their feedback of what they liked, what they didn't, accessible features. And in the process, our students also learned about financial literacy, like online banking, as an example. From there, now we have taken the project to another level where we have been fortunate enough to purchase three robots. They are Temi robots. And this project is really important to St. Clair College because it is not only being able to bring together post-secondary students and faculty, but it is a combination of several programs together interacting. Our robotics um, group are the ones responsible for programming the robots. And there are a lot of accessible features where the students on our CIC program will be able to use these robots to help break the barriers that some of them face. So for example, um, the Temi robot can dictate or read aloud for a student. The robot can go to classes with the student and take notes for the student. The robot can show videos and replay. Um, just yesterday, I had a video replaying on Temi as a way in which the students could review coursework material from yesterday. With our partnership as well with TELUS uh, and Temi Canada, uh, we also have access to their resources as well. So we've partnered with both Temi and TELUS uh, to help our students uh, build projects uh, we're currently working with Temi Canada on an app uh, that will be launching into industry uh, that students will get one-on-one -on -one kind of peer mentoring uh, and help them design different types of apps that will serve as a future platform for Temi products. So the future of the Endure project, I'm really excited that um, we have this semester a lot of the groundwork, um, a lot of the data collecting for the project and where this is going to be headed is a formal mentorship, peer mentorship program with our Endure students um, as far as a part of that project and pairing them up with the CICE students so that the CICE students have a formal mentorship through their non-disabled peers, as well as being able to continue with these financial literacy modules and being able to help them continue um, grow their uh, financial literacy skills. To be able to be um, contributing members of society and as well to be able to increase their work skills. We are really wanting to break the barriers and I think the first place that we need to start is in their education system.